G'day, welcome to Prop Maker. This is the channel that helps you make stuff, restore stuff, and repair stuff. And today we're gonna to talk all about bananas, toothpicks, and flipper adjustment on our 1979 Time Warp machine. Roll the thing, this is gonna be a quick one. Okay, here are the famous banana flippers of the Time War pinball machine, and you can see that they are pretty special. I reckon that if a ball hits them, it's almost like it becomes a slingshot. Probably makes the ball go a bit quicker. And also, they probably will be a little bit tougher than normal flippers to try and estimate or project where you're going to place that ball up on the play field. Now, as you can see, both of these are actually currently resting on this wire form, which isn't the correct default or resting position. And there is a secret, most of these pinball play fields, that no one really notices, and that is that there's an actual adjustment position. And you can see them here in set in the play field. So what we do is we take a simple toothpick like this, and we place it in the hole. And this will give us our default position. Now what you want is pretty much a smooth transition coming off uh, this lane guide to, uh, to the flipper. And that will pretty much get you there. Now also with flipper adjustment, you really should have a little bit of play hear that click and that's pretty much exactly where you want to be um, you can get a little adjusted adjustment tools they're a couple of bucks from Marco specialties and that will allow you to give a, an exact uh, measurement but uh, these are actually really pretty good so happy with that so I'll uh, I'll just tighten these up now that they're in their default position yeah, my trusty shifting spanner. Turn the play for a a little bit. This is the flipper assembly. This is our adjustment nut. And at the moment, I've loosened it off a little bit, but now I'm going to tighten it up. So I want to make sure that I don't move like I just did. I'm going to get that where we want, and then tighten up this nut. And as you can see, I'll give it a final tighten in a minute. But I'll tighten that up. And now, if I take this out, it stays there and that's the default position. Pretty cool. <laughs> 